Hey guys and gals, let's have a look at Mr. Oz's Space Bus by Lego Dreams, set number 71460, contains 878 bricks, retails for $99.99, and this set was provided by the Lego Group for early review. And this is essentially what you're getting, and I'm going to be honest with you, this looks rather junky. <laughs> I don't know, it looks like more of like a flying train than anything else, but we do have 10 figures on the top. We have Mateo, Mr. Oz, Albert, Z-Blog, Logan, Susan, Denny, Popper Chopper, if I'm saying that right, Captain Bedhead, and F Flight Knight. All right, and that's a lot of stuff there for this. And that's essentially what we do on the back. So you got two different storylines. You can build whatever you want. Uh, this one looks more interesting, but you know, only time can tell. And honestly, this looks rather like a city set. Well, let's take a closer look. First, let's start with our minifigures. Off to the left, we have Mateo, Mr. Oz, Albert, Z-Blob, Logan, Susan, Denny, the Popper Chopper, one of these guys with the top hat, the Captain Bedbeard, which is him right here. And this guy right here is Flight Knight. I think that's Denny. I'm trying to read off the box here because some of these get pretty confusing, especially when they all look the same at this point. And for the most part, they're a nice set of figures, but we only get two standard figures with this big set. They all have nice print work for the torsos. Well, these two guys do. Some of these other guys have print for the torsos, and some of their heads are double-sided. I think these two have double-sided heads where the rest have single-sided heads. And here we have the space bus and yeah you can only see just a portion of a school bus right there in the middle. <laughs> the rest of it looks like a regular spaceship. So here in the back we have our rocket thrusters and this little door does open up. We do have a little space thing in here. Now, it's hard to get that out without having to tip it up, so let's just do that. That's probably the only way to get it out. But there was no easier way to remove this. And these little things just fold out, and you got your little grabbers there, and it seats up to two figures. And it just fits right inside that little cargo area. And don't worry, we're going to take a closer look at everything here. This thing is so big, it's hitting my wall there. And this part here does open up too. The thing I don't like about the bigger builds, they just don't fit on my little table. Now this does open up here to reveal the passenger area, as well as the cockpit. And don't worry, we'll take closer looks at those too. So everything you can have full access to, and it does seat our minifigures. So we'll just take some of these guys. We'll just set them in here and just like with all these single person seating builds you got to raise up their arms to have them sit down comfortably and this guy's got some headgear on him. We'll put him right here in the front. Make him the pilot. Oh that's right we got to raise up their arms on these. Now this doesn't have handlebars inside and we'll put Z Blob in the back here because it's just got a two by two stud. We'll just drop him in there. Now, if you've got big hands, it's a bit of a chore, but I managed. <laughs> and this guy here, I don't know if he's a friend or foe, we'll put him in here too. Maybe he's hitching a ride. And that's about it. And these other areas here on the sides, you can actually attach accessories and stuff. So. The manual didn't quite show where all this stuff goes, so just find a spot and snap it in place. And I'll just start dropping weapons and stuff in here. Weapons, you know. And never thought I'd ever use that term in Lego. But just kind of put all this in here. Don't want to forget our projectile launchers and stuff. I'll just snap that in place. Got to be careful, we don't want to misfire. And yeah, for the most part, everything does close up and stuff and looks pretty good. Well, let's take a closer look at everything. Here's a closer look at that cockpit. 
some of the controls are printed and as well as up there right underneath the windscreen so there's a lot of detail for this and look at that it closes nice and seamless looks really good you can see right in there where the windscreen is at now sadly this part here is a sticker I was hoping this to be printed but it's not sadly and there's plenty of seating in this space bus so here's a close-up of those weapons areas looks like it has windows but the windows have been blocked off to store all this stuff and some of these tiles are printed which is pretty cool and this closes up pretty nice sometimes you can get a little stiff here have to move a few things around but there you go and this thing on top is some kind of satellite listening device. I don't know what this is. Maybe it's some kind of a ray gun. I don't know. <laughs> and that's sadly a sticker there. But it looks like Z-Blob or somebody could stand on that. Maybe it was that one space guy that I lost already. Oh, here he is. Maybe he's meant to sit up here with his wrench. No, you got to face the right way. Well... You get the idea how he's supposed to be put in there. <laughs> yeah, it does have nice graphics. I just wish everything was printed, though. Now, these right here are pretty cool. They store the studs for the stud launchers. So, whoops, you can grab a couple studs out and just load them up into here. And there's a bunch of stud launchers in this model, like these right here. You turn these. It's supposed to rapid fire. You got stud launchers here. You got stud launchers on both sides. There's just a lot of stud launchers. So this is meant to be really interactive, but also very dangerous too. And here's that spot where that cargo area is supposed to be. And it's kind of dark, but I can open this up a little bit here. And there's some graphics on that piece there too. So... This thing does fit in here, so what you do, we already shown how it's folded out. You just come in here, we'll fold this back up. And trying to do everything one-handed is a pain. <laughs> and that just fits in there and closes right up too, so that's pretty cool. You have access to almost everything in here, including the parts that stick. There we go. So you got these right here. These are the missions right here too. So I did the blue mission, but these do detach these two pieces here. And you can change to whatever mission you want to do it. And for the most part though, it is a nice build. It's pretty interesting. I wouldn't say, it, well, maybe it is unique. <laughs> I just wish this was printed though, but yeah, I mean, we take a look right up in there. Let me crack that top open again, and you can see it goes right on through there. I mean, it looks like a nice spaceship. It's just this here hangs up a bit on the top. I know it sounds like that hits hard pretty, pretty aggressively on the table, but look how seamless that looks. Just a little gap there, but look, it just closes nice. It has some that says open here, but well, you can't lift it up this way. You have to go that way. Maybe it's the full people. We don't know. See, there's those windows and they're blocked off. But for the most part, though, it's an interesting build, to say the least. Let's start the review with play experience, and as you saw in the tour, you have access to all the interiors. You do have tin figures. You even have these annoying stud launcher things. <laughs> but for the most part, I am very happy with the play experience on this. This is a really nice spaceship, or space bus. <laughs> but I had a lot of fun just kind of exploring the build. This was pretty cool to look at, and... The only thing that kind of detracts from the value is the stickers, but we'll get that, to that later in the review. Now, my build experience on this was kind of a mixed bag, so I'd say it was average. For the most part, it's not too bad. It was just the stickers. The stickers kind of dragged out, as well as some of the figures. 
in bag seven, you had to build five of these all in one sitting. And that was not fun at all. <laughs> I was getting bored with it. I think it was the dark, dreary colors. It wasn't too pleasant. But for the most part, the spaceship is the fun part of the build. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy the, the build of the spaceship. But it's the stickers that kind of takes away from all that. And there's probably over 25 stickers on this. If you're not a fan of stickers, you're going to have a difficult time with this build. So that kind of degrades the build experience a little bit, which we'll start with that. You know, like I said, I was pretty pleased with the build. Yeah. <laughs> now, for build quality, it's pretty robust. The only thing I had an issue with is one of these things inside of here. I think it was this right here in this area that kept coming apart and was trying to put these sides together. Other than that, though, this thing is meant to be pulled around and played with. Everything is built robust. Even taking off these accessories right here, this is really locked in very well. So you can easily just swap these out and change the storylines. So I did the the blue storyline on this. I'm sure you could easily just take these pieces off and switch over. So like these come off and these come off. So the only thing you're really focusing on is just this stuff here for bags eight and nine is mainly targeted towards the storyline. So just swapping the accessories out, there's full access to that. So not like you have to take half the ship apart to change it. You just take off the accessories and then just change the accessories around. That's not too bad. So that really does help with the build experience as well as play value on this as well. And these guys are a bit top heavy here. Now for collaborative build, it's non-existent. I think bag seven was probably the only one that was isolated from it. And maybe bags eight and nine, you can build the accessories. But for the most part, this is not meant to be a family build. This is just a solo build. So only one person could really build this comfortably. That's the sad thing. I can see this being a collaborative build for maybe family or friends, but sadly it's not. I wish it was. Now, for city drop-in value, this can be placed in a space theme. So this is self-contained. It's finished. You don't have to finish any sides off or improve it. This looks good as is. So you can just drop this in your Lego city. It would just look good in, maybe in your airport or something. Yeah, it's a bit on the larger side, but for the most part, it is interesting, to say the least, especially for a city theme. Now, for mocks, there's plenty of things you can do. You can enhance this. You can make different attachments for this. Or you can take the ship apart and use the parts for other builds. So there's plenty of things to do with mock value on this. It's not shortchanged on that. Now, for my final score in this set, it's a flat 8. Why? Because a few of these cylinders here were scratched and the stickers my goodness i had a hard time putting stickers on i thought i just pre-dinged that off because i knew it was going to be a challenge so if you're not a fan of stickers this is really going to be a killer for the set and a little bit off for stud launchers now if you notice i didn't put any of the studs on these because i didn't want to have to pick that up so imagine a parent has to pick all that up i hope whoever's watching this and wants the set don't fling those studs around it's not worth it you don't need to get in trouble for that <laughs> <laughs> just keep the studs in the, these right here. Really good storage area for the studs. Or you can just use them for other builds. Do I think this set is worth $99.99? Uh, maybe. It is a playable model. You do get 10 figures, two of which are regular mini figures. But I say it's a little on the high end, just a little bit. But for $99.99, you are getting a fully playable model. So maybe it might be worth for somebody who loves this theme. For me, I just don't see it. I'd say maybe $90 at the most. I mean, it's it's an extra $10, but still, I just... If everything was printed in here and the pieces weren't scratched, this would have been a $120 set easy. That's pretty much what it is. <laughs> but I want to know what you guys and gals think of this build. To me, it's interesting. But it's not quite my theme. But I don't know. I just, I, I just didn't feel this build. But it was interesting nonetheless. So tell me what you think.